Okay, so if uh, we're going to do this, I need to explain exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this will treat your uh, Steam controller as if it were pretty much any other game that would release under Valve. Valve and uh, Steam. And uh, basically you would use like the, the right thumbstick as the pointer but also be able to use the gyroscope for finer aiming. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so immediately the first thing we want to do is uh, get this. It's called uh, the Steam Gyro uh, for Simu Hook. Okay? Uh, this thing is going to start up uh, and we will have this. Uh, this is not necessarily something that you have to have open. Um, this is just something that like, this is just, like, the front page. You don't really necessarily need it. This is just something I, I want to show just, like, so you know, like, if you have it or not. Um, so it is working. And what you want to do is uh, when you go into uh, the Prime Hack menu, uh, you will have this for the controller options. You're going to go into Configure. Uh, actually, no. Never mind. You're going to go into Alternate alternate input sources and from here you're gonna press add and you're gonna type in whatever it is that you want and then you can hit enable and it will automatically pick it up all right and from here you basically set it up exactly how you would um by default the motion inputs and gyroscope uh the solar arm a cellar armor, I cannot say that word for the life of me. Uh, everything will be uh, highlighted. Turn it all off, okay? Uh, just for the sake of this specific game, uh, turn it all off. Uh, the pointer, make sure nothing is on there. Uh, the only reason to actually put in uh, for the, for the uh, alternate input sources is specifically so... Uh, uh, what was it? Dolphin knows that you are using the Steam controller and it will allow you to use uh, the, what was it? Uh, this all right here, the the nunchuck and the, like how, how you can move. Uh, the, geez, <laughs> where is it? This right here, the extension, the, the nunchuck, it'll let you, uh, you can choose how you want to um, move. And it'll have like a full range, exactly how you're you're supposed to be. Um, so going forward, that's really all it is. Prime hack uh, on this tab, you do not have to mess with anything unless it be like you want to. I still need to configure some stuff for for here, but you know that we can go uh, like whenever like we get to it. Uh, so having all of this already set up, we can close out of it. And next thing you want to do is put it on 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 Steam. Like, just, you know, press add a game, a uh, non-Steam game. Oh, accidentally press that. Uh, add non-Steam game and just, you know, go for it. All right. Uh, so once you're there, you're going to go and do controller layout. And this is the new layout for Steam. So you're going to have a little bit of problem, maybe. Uh, it took me a second to try and figure everything out. Uh, but basically, you want to turn off all the buttons. Like, the buttons, turn it off. You don't need it. Uh, the triggers, again, you turn it off. You don't really need it. Joysticks, again, off. But this one right here, make sure the right trackpad is turned on as the mouse. Okay? And just that. Everything else is still off. And gyro, make sure it's on. And when you set it up, it is... Ooh, right right here. Enable a uh, button that is just touching the, the touchpad. So what that does is that whenever you t uh, touch the pad, gyro will automatically turn on and you are able to use it. And the second you let go of it, you don't use it anymore. And that can help. If you don't want it, you can always have it on, uh, always on. Uh, personally, I don't like it as much, but, you know, that, that is always an option. And so once you have that set up, those two very specific things, you have it uh, set up. You can actually launch the game and going from here and 
and there we go. All right, and now I have this. So what's happening is I can go into full screen, or can I? There it is. Okay. And now I have full controller support with the Steam controller. All of it is fully set up and exactly how I'm uh, used to using it. Okay, so a quick jump in editing. Um, I wanted to show off uh, the actual controller and proof. So like with, with here. So again, oop, not move. I'm moving and nothing's happening. I simply touch it and it moves and then I also can just move it like that and I still have in uh, like perfect input and I have full controller uh, like movement exactly how I would with a, another game like Portal or Half-Life like immediately just pick it up and it works so uh, like there you go Merry Christmas Happy Hanukkah whatever there we go